Hello everybody, welcome back to Freddy Plays. Today, we bow to social pressure. Today we are going to start a new game. Uh, it is going to be what I've seen a lot of people doing lately. Um, something that Brad has tried to twist my arm into doing uh, a few times. And I'm finally caving in because he's doing it. And I'm going to do it better than him just to show him up. Because I'm spiteful like that. Uh, we're doing Every Day is Horde Day. And for the hell of it, we're going to ramp it up to also include... Uh, one death and we're done so yeah let's jump straight in uh, you guys know the game you know what we're doing you know what it's about we are getting around it just as quickly as we can let's just dump that in there um, I will probably be doing a lot of like cutting and editing on this one whereas normally uh, I'll just sort of play and chat and uh, and we see I'm out of stamina. I caught up to him, but I got nothing to punch him with. That's okay. We'll let him go. Um, yeah, normally I'm, I'm a chatterbox, and I'm happy to, to just let an episode run. But we're going to try to save a little bit of time uh, for you guys so you can see the more action rather than more me having hiccups and running around in circles like an idiot. Um, so I'm going to knock off these first few little um, starter quests, and then we'll come back. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. Alrighty guys, we are at the trader. We are about to turn in this uh, first quest, just to get the game up and running. In fact, I think it automatically even ticked over, to be absolutely honest. Um, so what we're going to try to do is just keep these episodes short and sweet. Um, let's get some jobs, anything close. 300 meters clear zombies, that'll do. Alright, let's have a quick squiz around the trader. Uh, let's see, hopefully he's got um, a workbench that functions or something that we can try to use or a forge um, would be good too. It'd be nice if he had both, um, if we're being completely honest. Uh, let's see, he's got like an underground area, he does. There's a zombie banging on the walls, making a bloody ruckus. I can't have that. Nothing in there. Broken chem station, that sucks. Uh, let's see. Ooh, box under there. Um, so what we want to try to do is find about as quickly as possible just like a nice little hidey hole. Um, I mean, preferably somewhere that will function as... Uh, what's like to do? Um, as a forever base straight away because then that's a bit less stuffing around but I'll take what I can get on night one um, we're running with a game time of I think an hour sorry I'm a bit discombobulated I gotta find where we're going broken workbench typical uh, and no forge at all great all right, that's fine. We'll we'll do everything ourselves. Not a problem. Oh, here we go. Nice. Okay, so we've got a forge we can use if I have to. Let's check upstairs. Nice lock picks will come in handy. Uh, cool. That's on my box. It's nice. Just a couple of shotgun shells. Nothing too exciting there. But you know, when I get a shotgun, I'm sure I'll put those to good use. Now, um, we are running a one hour day-night cycle and hoard every night. Now, I could set up in one of these houses immediately next to the trader and I think I might actually do just that, to be honest. Because um, it'll be helpful just for offloading junk as we go, basically, just to have a trader just outside. Um, let's see, is there anything... Probably leads into that house. It's just a bit of sneaky cheeky to get a bit of stamina back. <laughs> Shut the door in her face. <laughs> hey, take all the little advantages you can get. Alright, so that first house that we dropped down into, um, I'm Probably going to make it home base, to be absolutely honest with you. 
Um, it's going to be... It's going to be fiddly, and I'm going to have to plug a few holes to try to make sure the zombies can only come in one way. Because, yeah, as I thought, look, there's that access to the garage, so I'll have to... That shouldn't be too hard to close that up, to be honest. But it is something I'll have to address. I got excited when I saw that workbench when I first came down here. Um, but it turns out to be broken. So what we're going to end up having to do is probably break this down. I assume this just leads outside. Let's just get a couple of... Uh, where's my... Wood. Let's get a... I uh, know, we'll say six for now. And just plug some of these holes real quick. And then I'll probably just leave the front door wide open so that they just come straight at me on the first horde night. Because I don't want to be farting around too much. I just kind of want to get it in and done. Where's that? Is that upstairs or outside? Let's repair that. Ah, hello. You just kind of walked in through the front door, huh? That's fine. You can die now. Thank you. Come again. Can't break my front door. I only just installed it. sneaking up. It's rude. Let's... Nah, we'll sit on it for a minute. Oh, shit. Alright. This is getting a bit out of hand. Let's leg it down here. Another one. Maybe we won't make this home base. This is a very infected kind of area, apparently. But if I can keep him on this side of that for a minute, I don't know how much health that thing has. Oh, there goes one. Stop banging on me door, you dickhead. Shit. Alright, let's get that coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. All right, we got some wiggle room now. And the coffee will help keep my stamina up and running. Are you dead? Yep. It's all right, we got this. He's dead. All right. Under control. Let's quickly shut and repair that. Now, back upstairs. Blunderbuss will be helpful tonight. I'm not really expecting any epic loot. Uh, the way the new loot system is tiered, there's no uh, finding level 5 shotguns on night 1 anymore, which is fine. I don't mind a challenge. Um, you know what, we're going to come back to that actually. What I'll do is I'll grab the cobblestone there, because I can use that to upgrade some of these walls. Although we're not getting a lot. What skills have we got? Four points. What do we want to go into? I reckon we go... Uh, we're going to go probably... I'm always a bit of a chef, so I reckon we'll go strength. And then we'll go chef, so I can cook some food. And pummel Pete, because I do enjoy my club. It's just what you see is what you got. Fingers crossed we can not die. Is basically the crux of it. We'll grab most of this wood. Alright, first quest brings us here. So we might be able to get some decent food loot out of this. If there's a, uh, a boar or two. Although, ooh, chicken there. Oh, damn it. Problem with going after a boar with a stone bow and arrow is that they are very bloody vicious 
it's a problem with playing single players, having to spread all your points across. <laughs> You're not a stem of corn. Stem? Stalk. Get out of here. I think we're probably going to put our next point into Sexual Tyrannosaurus to try to keep our stamina up. We're going to forego the rest of the corn. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I think she fell off of something. Oh, damn it. He's going to be a pain. Because he is going to be a tough noodle. Oh, nice. And now he's having weird, creepy zombie sex with the ground. Righto. He's going to take a beating. Oh, he fell off. That'll buy me a minute to loot all of this shit. Actually, I think my next point might have to go into Pack Mule. Because I really can't put all the eggs in the basket of hoping to find the um, extra pocket things. There is he. Where'd you go? Clear area. One more. Outside, apparently. Are you serious? Great. Um, how many arrows have we got? The good news is he'll be chill until I attack him. Okay. He's baiting on the building to try to kill me. There is a little bastard. Alright. Hold still. Come on. Nice. That's three, four. That missed. Shit, there it is. Nice. Look at all the bloody arrows that took. Like six. Six direct hits to kill him. But this is good. We get plenty of leather, some animal fat, some meat, some bones. This is good. Alright, we're gonna leg it back to the trader, turn in this quest, and then set up shop for tonight. See you guys in a minute. And so the more I think about it, the more I want to build my own little base. Rather than just use a house. So I think that'll probably do us for the first few nights while I build some resources and, and get everything set and then after that I think we'll um, I think we'll move on okay open combat yeah, whatever I'm gonna end up needing mining books anyway so we'll grab those hunting knife we'll get that because then I can ditch this for that uh, we got 600 bucks I can't oh I can no that didn't do anything uh, da, 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 da. Compound bow would have been sweet, but uh, what do I need? I don't think I'm gonna have enough to be able to afford it anyway. Modification, more degradation. There, uh, seven hundred. He doesn't want nitrate. He doesn't want that. All right. Yeah, balls to it. Let's just get out of here. Alrighty, we're pretty much set for the time being. Um, I really hope they decide to use this as the point of entry. If they don't, if they try to attack me from behind, we're kind of boned. So what I might actually do is make two more hatches and just plug up this area as well, just as a, a backup in case we, they do decide they want to find another way in. Not a terrible idea, I don't think. Just as like a little redundancy, they shouldn't be able to find any other way in. I'm quietly confident. Um, look, I've got my club and two loaded blunder buses. Uh, <laughs> um, so fingers crossed we can power through night one's horde and this doesn't end horribly immediately. All right, here we go. Night one, horde one. Let's see what they've got in store. 
Here they come. Are they going to use this main entryway? Yep, here we go. That's one. I'm not sure how many we're going to be in for tonight. Get out of here, Nurse Betty. That one's stuck down there. Oh, here she comes. This old sexy one-eye. I do like this model. Uh, zombie model, to be specific. Only having one dangly eyeball is cool. Is that it? Oh shit, that was kind of uneventful. <laughs> Alright, well that's fine. Hello? Additional undead. Alright. Alright, cool. Well, that is hopefully a sign of at least the next few nights to come. Hopefully the, the zombies don't get suddenly ridiculous. Um, just before we go for the evening, I reckon uh, I'll just touch back on what I was saying earlier in the ep, which is this will be our holdout base for the first few nights while I get some resources together and then we'll bounce and we'll I mean even if I just like knock down this building here and build a mega fortress over here or something you know no big deal eventually we'll get a bike and uh, hopefully a gyrocopter and all that sort of shit and we can get out of here and explore and I have no idea how long this is gonna go for but we're gonna suss out the traps which I've never used before um, the pressure plates and all that sort of stuff, which, again, I've never used before, so I really don't know what I'm doing with those. Um, but there's plenty of wiggle room to try some new shit, and I'm just gonna gut this entire house of everything that's not nailed down, everything we can break, every resource we can get, and then probably just start looking to explore the town. Knock out as many quests as I can for the trader. Uh, if memory serves, you do 10 quests and then he points you to an, uh, the next trader kind of in line. So maybe we can make a go of that and, uh, and explore the town that way. But I'm, I'll probably use this as my main port of call until I've got like a motorcycle. Um, I mean, I could get out of here with a, a mini bike, I guess. But we'll see how we go. But it is night one, we have not died, and that's a win. Um, fingers crossed we can keep it that way. Right, I need to figure out what to do next. But until uh, until the next Horde night, I guess that'll do for now, guys. So feel free to subscribe, feel free to comment and like, and all that other good stuff. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!